You guys are being a little too much. Come here, Hopper. Emma's like, could you saddle it? Cassie's like, I'm hiding. Poor Cassie, she's so shy. You're okay, girl. Okay, yeah, come down the slide. It's okay, you can play. You can go, Cass. She's like, no. Who's got my foot? Darling, girl. No, 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 no. John's like, too much, gotta go. A Clark, hey Clark, Scout. Oh, John's playing. See, he plays nice. He's got the unicorn. He was like, I'll chew on this. I'm not supposed to chew. He's very smart. He's got his mama's smartness. He listens. This one does not. Hey! Stop chewing my foot. It hurts. They don't listen. Some of them do. Clark's like, I'm getting tired. They've been playing for a while, so I'm trying to get them worn out. Are you going to break that, buddy? You're trying to get that off, aren't you? Here, let's move it out of the way. Oh, sorry. I stepped on somebody's foot. Sorry. Yeah, you guys are starting to settle over here. Hi, Em. What's she doing, girl? You playing with the squishmallow? They like squishmallow. Why are the big dogs barking, huh? Probably because of y'all. Hi, dragon. Hi, sweet boy. How's my little sweet boy? He's turned into a quiet little sweet boy. They're all sweet, but they just have their moments in the sun. Oh, hi. Did you come to tell me hello? Thank you. Thank you. You're so sweet. Here, let's chew on a toy. Chew on this instead of my hand. Yeah, distraction. Distraction's the best way. We're, 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 we're working today on trying to learn where to pee again. So far, knock on wood, they haven't, they're peeing mostly over there. Almost on the crates, but not quite. But some of them are. And the poop has been on the crate, thank goodness. So far. Not a lot of them have gone to the bathroom since their bath, though, so we'll see how the day progresses. But really, I need to spend, like, the whole day with them, just in here nonstop, and, like, teach them stuff. It's really hard when you have so much stuff going on out there to do it all, so... I got the kids home today, so they're helping. That makes a much better day. And they weren't as much of a poop party this morning, so that was really good which really helps matters. Like I said, yesterday was my fault. I fed them without washing them. Okay, 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 okay. Do you have to get a timeout again? Cause you're gonna learn today. We already had a talk. We already had a talk. We already had a talk about this kind of behavior. Okay, so now you get to go in timeout for a little bit. I'll hold you till you decide to settle. Settle. Poor Cass. She's so shy, but she's so sweet. But she has her moment. Nope. Over here, over here. Sorry, I didn't mean to drop you. Over here is where you pee. I caught him like midstream. And then the funny part is they stop. They don't, then they don't go. <laughs> is over. We watch Moana every day. We love Moana and I just heard there's Moana 2 coming out. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm coming out because you guys keep biting my ankles. Yes, you're biting my ankles. I know it's not you. You didn't bite me. It's her. No, I'm just kidding. 
They're getting better at it. I keep telling them no and distracting them and they have gotten a little better. But naturally puppies are gonna do it because they're teething. They do it to each other, obviously. Hey, that was pretty rough on little girl. Even though she probably asked for it. <laughs> Clark and Violet are at it today. Oh, King got her. Who's that? Is that? Hi, darling. Is that you, darling? Yes. You look cute sitting there. You look like a cute little girl sitting there. Oh, you're cute too. Don't worry. Em, are you laying down? Oh. She still, she does not like all the chaos, I realized. I think that's what it is with Emma. She's like, I don't like them acting crazy. She's really smart, so I think she knows that I don't want them to be too crazy, so she's like trying to, to redirect them sometimes. Now she's given up, because she's like, I don't want to get in trouble for redirecting. You're being good, girl. Emma, come here. Let's just not lay right there, because we're trying to work on the pee part, so I'll hold you for a second. Come here. How's my sweet girl today? Are you doing good? Mm. Don't worry, you're being a good girl. Here, why don't you lay on the bed? Somebody's chewing it up. How about you lay right here, Emma? With the unicorn, that looks like a nice spot for you. You come this way. You guys are chewing up the bed. Where are we going? Are we digging to China? Did you just pee there? Oh Lord. Like they get really close. I don't understand why they get close, but not all the way there. It's so weird. I don't get it guys. You're just missing it. You're so close. At least you're giving some effort. Besides just going pee over here. They're like, this is a <laughs> They are funny. They're very entertaining. They're very sweet when they want to cuddle. Hey, Cass. You go, I'm gonna cuddle with you. I've been paying her a lot of attention. Come here, girl. Aw. Come here. Are you okay? Mm. Now, it's okay if you wanna go pee pee. Go pee pee. Do you need to go pee-pee? Here, you try to go pee-pee. Ah, ah. Y'all got this area so wet. Ah, ah, ah. Now I'm gonna have to take this one off. Mm. But it's still wet, so y'all are still gonna pee there. I guess it's better to pee in one spot than it is to pee all over the place, but. Here, let's try to pee pee. Oop, you just drank some water, so let's try to pee pee. No. Okay, maybe you don't have to. Are we starting to settle? Are we starting to settle? I feel like you're gonna pee right there. Oh, come here, come here. <laughs> come here, Cass. Oh, do you wanna play now? See, when they start settling, she likes to play because it's too much for her when they're all, when they're all playing. Okay, guys, be gentle. Be gentle, guys. Be kind of gentle. Say hi, Cass. She's like, what are y'all doing? I feel like you're just gonna pee any second. Let's try one more time. Over here. Make me proud, come on, you can do it. You can go pee pee, go pee pee. 
Go baby girl. Go baby. I feel like me too. Maybe you don't. Who's under the bed? No. You gotta be careful. Tico. That's Vi Violet. King's not playing with you right now. He's tired. And Emma's tired too. Look at this. This boy is so sweet and good. He just says, I'll just chew on this. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. You're being such a good boy, Dragon. You're being a really good boy. Yes, you don't chew my feet. You're a good boy. You're smart. You listen, don't you? Yes. It's like, I know that I'm just supposed to chew my toys and not your feet. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, hi, girl. You okay? You're so sweet. You look so much like Heidi. John, you're a good boy. He was, I was just snuggling with him. He doesn't chew my feet very often. Every once in a while, he's real playful. Who's there? Emma, I thought you were going to sleep. You change your mind? Okay, that's fine. Tico and Violet, they give it to each other right there, those two. And then King's trying to intervene. And then Clark's like, I've had it. <laughs> You're so cute. You're just the sweetest little boy. He's so friendly. I love you. I love you. Okay. Too much, too much, too much. Don't pin people down. It's not polite. They're like never gonna listen. They don't, they have, they always play rough with siblings. It's totally not, every litter does this. It's totally normal puppy litter stuff. You just have to teach them when they come home that you're not a litter mate, you know, you're in control. So we do a lot of like put them on their backs, make them look at you in the eyes, feed them from your hands sometimes. And it basically tells them that you're about to pee. Yep, pee pee over here. Pee pee, pee pee over here. I saw you sniffing. Pee pee over here. <laughs> Come on, pee pee over here. Good girl, good girl. Yay! Woohoo! Who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Violet. She's pretty good. Usually she does pee. Good girl. That's a good girl. You're wild sometimes, but she's a smart girl. Okay. See, they can be taught. You just have to redirect and keep teaching. That's good. Violet went pee pee. Who else can go pee pee? Huh? Who else can be like Violet and go pee pee? She was a good girl. How about you, Dragon? I thought it was you, Cassie, but I guess not. You guys don't look like you're ready. Hmm. Y'all like the spray I put on you today? Is it itchy? I put like this conditioner stuff on them and they've been kind of itchy. Okay. Well, hmm. I mean, at least we got one to do it right, huh? I'll put on another movie. I think they're starting to settle down. I like to um, watch them when they play because I want to make sure they're not pooping because if they are, I got to pick it up because one little poop can like destroy the day. And Mama, she's like not helping, but that's okay. I give her the day off usually because, oh yes. <gasps> Good boy! dragon he did it that's a good boy that's a good boy yay i'm so proud of you you did it you did it Woohoo! we gotta get super excited when somebody pees right right we do the potty dance do the potty dance yay good job buddy i'm so proud of you see dragon did it he went in the right spot it's funny because when I take up the pee pee stuff right there, they tend to do better. So they really go, they really go where they can smell it. And trust me, 
They smell so much stronger than us. So you think it's clean, but like see this whole area is still wet. So I know there's pee, but I don't want to take up every blanket. But I'd rather them just learn at least it's on this side of it. We'll go with that. I mean, we only have, we don't have a lot longer together. So I mean, maybe you guys will learn it by the last day. But. The thing is, they could learn it. I just don't have the time to teach them properly. And that's one thing. It, it, teaching them is really easy, but you have to have the time and patience to do it. For me, patience is not the problem. It's time. Right now, I'm just too back and forth, too back and forth. Um, I thought they got it in the beginning, but I was wrong. I probably moved them over here before they were ready is what happened, but there's there's nine, so I had to, but usually I keep them in the box a little longer, which helps. So for Charlotte's, I'll definitely do that, but it kind of really helps with the potty training, but I moved them over here really quick um, when they turned five weeks old, and I tr it was before they turned five weeks old, like right before, and I usually try to wait till five and a half if I can. Even those few days just really help with just working on that, so... I think that there's a lot of factors in place. They definitely are smart. They definitely can learn, but they have to, um, for potty training, it's actually usually pretty easy, especially with just one. It's just giving the time, you know, taking them outside every hour to two hours, definitely during the day. And just, they'll learn really quick that way. But if you don't put the time in it, they're not gonna learn as quick. So that's the key. I didn't give the time I should have, and look what happened. So it's okay. I mean, it's not the end of the world. It just caused a little bit extra laundry is all. But for you guys at home, the parents, it's easier if you put the time in right away. You know, take a whole weekend and just constantly do it and work the whole day. It's kind of like kids work the whole day on potty training every hour outside, every hour. And if they don't go, that's fine. But you know, try again in an hour, try again in an hour, and eventually they'll be like, oh, okay, this is what we're supposed to do out here? Oh, okay, I get it. Um, give them treats when they're done. Um, something they like, don't give them their regular food because it's not really fun. Um, but you don't want to fill them up on treats either, so just a teeny piece of something that's really, really tasty. We did fresh pepperoni, like a tiny, like, tiny, tiny piece, but they really love it for our dogs because it's so tasty and that learned that that taught them pretty quick um that's my suggestion and if you are getting a puppy on the family page just search puppies you'll find tons of information you may have to scroll a little bit with training i have training guides on there with crate training potty training all the steps to take it's just patience time and not giving in um, crate training is a little, like, to me, crate training is harder than potty training um, because they're just not used to it. And they have each other. Snuggle puppies are great, so I suggest getting a snuggle puppy. Um, but if they're going to go in the crate, obviously here we have the crate, so they're kind of used to it. But they don't have the door closed. So once that door closes, they're going to freak out. Um, best thing with the crate is if you can make it three to four nights then you're golden, but you can't give in. Now, if they cry in the middle of the night and wake up, that's they need to go potty. But if they cry right when you put them in, they're settled, you put them in, they cry, you cannot get them out. Let them cry it out, let them cry it out. It's hard, it could be an hour, it could be two hours. It's really loud, it's really excruciating to go through. And we can't, we, we give in, um, don't give in. And you just have to do it for three nights. And if you can do it three nights, they'll never cry again. That's, but also have the crate somewhere that they could probably see you. If you're putting them isolated alone in a laundry room or something like that, I don't really agree with that because I feel like that's scary and they may never get it that way. So it's good where they can see you as hard as that is or have a TV on or some kind of noise that's not completely silent and alone because fear will make them crazy. 
They do not like to be alone, obviously. They have their litter mates right now, so they don't cry a lot. But even sometimes they cry for us. Um, but they're going to definitely need comforting, reassuring, lots of people time. Isolation can really hurt these dogs big time. Um, they do not like to be isolated. They do not want to be alone for long especially as puppies. So you have to be super careful or they will turn bad, super bad. So it's time and it's effort, but they'll be your best friend for life. And the puppy stage doesn't last forever. Um, it gets easier, so never fear. It just takes some time and patience and understanding and just knowing them, knowing where they came from, the things they got here. Yes, they're a little spoiled, but I'm definitely trying today to teach them that I can't pick them up every time they cry. We've been doing that now for the past few days, and it, it works really well. They're actually not begging for my attention, um, but they have each other, so that helps entertain them. So if you don't have another dog and they're isolated or kids, just be careful. You don't want to isolate them alone too long. I've seen that go south. I see you playing. But they don't need kids. They don't need, um, they don't need all these toys. Really, they just need you. That's what they need more than anything. So, just remember that. I'm glad you guys are settling down, that's for sure. They love people time. Obviously, we have to leave them at times. I also suggest you don't over give them time so like leave them for a little bit every day if it's the crate put them in their crate when don't leave them out definitely have a crate for them you don't want them if you don't they can get into trouble real quick and it can be very dangerous oh wrong spot nope 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 nope, nope. come here oh. this is where you go pee pee this is where you pee pee not there um so even if you just go like walk around the block or go to the store, time is not measured with puppies. They don't know if you're gone five minutes or five hours. So they just need to learn when you do go, you're coming back. If they don't learn that at a young age, when you do leave them at an older age, they're gonna struggle. So I always suggest to leave your puppy alone every day at least once. At least once in a crate. You won't have to hear him cry, and it actually will help with nighttime training. Um, but leave the house so they don't think you're there. Actually leave so you don't have to hear it. Let them cry it out. They'll be fine, I promise. They're safe. They can't do anything in a crate. If you don't leave them in a crate, they will destroy something or get into something, and they will get hurt. Accidents are the biggest problems with puppies. So you just have to be careful, but I have lots of advice, not to say that I take it, because sometimes I don't, but um, you know, I'm always here if you guys, our new families need help. Um, because it isn't, it isn't always easy, but sometimes it is. But they'll be good. All right, I'm going to go check on Char. They're settling down so I can actually leave them for a little bit, hopefully. And leave Mama Char in here just in case. <laughs> All right, so we made it through Tuesday, I think, almost. It's like Groundhog's Day. I got to get the nighttime set up. It's clean, but I got to get set up. It's not nighttime yet. They don't go over there until like 9. But then at 9, I have to literally take everything out of here, wash it all, I clean it all, I bleach the floor. It's such a process till 11, by 11 I'm like dead. Oh, and then I have to set it up for the next day. Sometimes it's midnight. It's ruthless. Sometimes I say there's gotta be an easier way, but really they're pretty happy in here. So, and I don't like them just on the bare floor because if they do pee and I don't see it, they're going to get it all over them. At least with here, it absorbs. Um, and not only that, our tile's not sealed, so, like, the grout will get ruined. It'll just smell like pee in here. 
Um, so it's kind of like a toss up, what's worse. The outside was kind of nice, but it's too dangerous. I can't do that. We have a pool, we have critters. I cannot leave them out there. They had fun for one day, so at least they got to enjoy it. We used to do it all the time, and I've realized that it's just not the best idea. Easiest idea, yes. But it's super hot here in Florida. It's too hot for them out there. Our back porch is like a, it's like a sauna, literally. It's like a sauna. It's probably 105 degrees out there. So my big dogs don't even want to go out there for long. They're AC puppies. They're not going to want to be outside a lot. Their hair fur makes them hot. Very hot natured. So don't leave them outside. It's not good for them. When I hear golden doodles being raised outside, it makes me want to cry. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Don't, do not do that. So that's the end. I love them so much. I wish I could keep them all, but obviously we can't. But they're going to be great. We're going to miss them. I won't miss the biting, ankle biting. <laughs> That's going to be the hardest part of training, I promise. The biting is going to be really annoying. And it lasts for quite a bit. It's going to be like six months, maybe. Nah, I say like th three months. It seems forever. But it seems like it's never ending. But you've got to just distract them the best you can. It's, it's rough. It's, I'm not going to lie, it's rough. That's the hardest part. If you can get through that, you can get through anything. But just tell them no, redirect them, be stern. It's okay to be stern. They need to be, they need to learn um, that biting's not okay. If you have another dog, they're going to bite on your other dog, which is the beauty of it. Um, the dog will get annoyed, and the dog will tell them off. And that's okay. They need to be told off. <laughs> they need to be told off. Let their dog tell them off. Um, they'll learn from the older dog more than they will from you, I guarantee it. So, anyways. All right, have a great Tuesday. Say so we're going to go for now. Hopefully these two settle down soon. Or three. Well, dragon's being good. King, king. He wasn't after you. Tico. Oh, dragon's coming in. Now he wants to play. All right, I better go because this is never going to upload. It's too long. Bye. Yeah.